This is Learn Accounting Podcast uh, by Professor Accounting. This is episode 10, Accounting for Depreciation Task Solution. So I said I'll go through the solution to the um, little task I set you. Uh, some, some good responses that I've been getting. Uh, let's just see uh, how you all did if you've all done it. You want to check your uh, working out. So this is a task that I set. And as I spot the mistakes, I told you there's three mistakes uh, in here somewhere. Uh, just to try and jot down something as to what you think that it is. Um, obviously try and find that NBV at the end of uh, year five as well. So if you look at the information, uh, everything that's correct is obviously the first column is the years. That's fine, one to four. The NBV at the start, so year one is 12 and two isn't year 9,000. Three, 6,000, four is 3,000. So there's nothing wrong with that. That information is fine. It's the actual depreciation calculations. So the first observation that I would get you to, to look at is look at the depreciation for year one. The answer is 3,000 pounds. Now. There is an error with that, isn't there? Um, because the, if we work out the maths, what percentage is £3,000 of £12,000? And it certainly isn't 35%. So that is the first mistake that you're looking at. So 35% method uh, reduced balance hasn't been used. That's the first mistake. Um, the second mistake is then notice the amount of depreciation. So if you look at the amount of depreciation, well, it's it's constant, it's equal, it's the same each year. So although it's incorrect in the um, first year, the key is there's evidence here because the depreciation each year is 3,000 that the wrong method has been used. So straight line method has been used when the question is asking to use reducing balance. So that's your um, second error. I'll put these on slide in a moment as well so you can see some commentary, some notes to the commentary. The last observation, if you look further down, 9,000 to 3,000, okay, it's six. Six minus three is three. Look at year four, 3,000. Depreciation is 3,000. What's happened to you to the net book value? Unfortunately, they've, they've, the question is they've added the depreciation to the net book value, which is not what we do. So how do we get net book value at the end of the period? It's net book value at the start minus the depreciation for the year. So even though the 3,000 is incorrect anyway, the method here would still be to uh, subtract. Okay, um, so here is the solution and I'll show you um, the uh, end of year five as well. So year one, obviously the net book values will change uh, given that the depreciation is gonna change. So I didn't want to change these first. So year one, 12,000, the correct depreciation should be 1,200 because that's 35%. Uh, which is the value you're using. Take the depreciation away from the netbook value at the start, and that gives you netbook value at the end, 7,800, and so on. The step next to get the further values correct is to correctly bring down the 7,800 to the next, in this case, to year two. Find the depreciation 35% um, of 7,800 to give you 5,070 uh, at the end of uh, year two, bring that down to year three, find the depreciation for year three, and take them away to get the nickel value at the end of year three, and so on. So you keep going. So with this method in a table like this, the from the first uh, from year one, if you don't get the correct depreciation, uh, which is four thousand two hundred, then that's going to affect the net book value. That's going to then affect your new balance at this the, for the start of year two. That would affect the depreciation for year two and then the value. So with this, um, with this. Example, if you make a mistake in the uh, from the beginning, you, everything's going to be wrong. So in this in this case, it's, it's very uh, important that you uh, focus on this topic uh, as uh, this method of depreciation. Um, as to what the key features are of the method and be able to spot it. So if you just look at what we said is to the errors, error one, I mean, you've worded these how you've worded them, but just check, see what you've got. If you did find anything else, then do let me know. But as far as I can see, this, this is the three that I set. So depreciation for each year has not been calculated at 35%. They're all, I think, 25%. Um, yeah, okay, 25%. Uh, the depreciation amounts, they're all 3,000 pounds. So in the list, this is obviously from the previous table, the table I, um, I gave you, indicating that the straight line method has been used instead of reducing balance, so wrong method. And there's problems with using the wrong method. If you think about where depreciation goes, when it goes into the um, expenses, so if we use the incorrect method depreciation, it's going to have an effect on profit. 
Um, point three, for year four, uh, the depreciation value has been added to the netbook value at the start of the year instead of subtracting, resulting in a higher, uh, an incorrect higher NBV at the end. So that's just a one just to, just again to, to spot. The last thing I said to do was to calculate the NBV for year five, so, which wasn't on the um, table, it was just a question to, to do. So you should get an answer of 1392. 1,392 pounds is your answer. Well, that's the solution. I hope you did well, and I hope you are learning this topic uh, quite well. Again, just it's just an introduction. Some of you might find this uh, quite basic. Uh, maybe your accounting is already um, um, moved on. It's quite advanced. But certainly for some students new to, to the topic, um, or maybe uh, maybe didn't learn this topic, or for whatever reason, hopefully this is um, you find this a, a stutter uh, to get your head around depreciation, which is a very common exam topic, and certainly an exam topic that students either uh, aren't interested in uh, because they find it difficult, uh, maybe a little bore, a little bit boring, but there, there's a, obviously an element to it. If you if you do well, if you do find it um, interesting and you can do the accounting for this question, then certainly you will reap the rewards um, in the exam when you see you're getting uh, some good marks um, to, to do well in your exam. Uh, my contact details, uh, obviously you know. Uh, I want to thank you for stopping by and hopefully you enjoy the podcast and I'll see you next time for another podcast from Professor Accounting.